week on SKT, we plan on showing you one of the most epic beach camps in Australia with surfing, fishing, insane wildlife. That is the biggest racehorse goanna I've ever seen in my life. But trying to make it in there, we will push to our absolute limits. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Get up there. And to make matters worse, there's a massive cyclone honing in on us. Nearly died. Damn it. Have we finally bitten off more than we can chew? G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, we're on another beach camp mission and we are heading into one of our favourites on the WA coast. Yeah, we're going into Stephen's camp, but we have got a little bit of a kerfuffle because... A schmozzle. Yeah, there is a cyclone coming, another <laughs> cyclone. Someone tell the flies there's a cyclone <laughs> coming. Super humid, there's meat ants. You don't want to get bitten by one of these things. See these things here? WA meat ants. They'll have you singing louder than Susan Boyle. <laughs> but uh, we've got the Keith Urban. And the Master Leroy here, and we're going to hit this track now. Say Master Sarah then. Yeah, Master Sarah. Master Navigator. And there's a key point we're missing out on too. It's my birthday. Oh uh, yeah. So. 28. To that. Yeah, yeah, 28. 28. <laughs> Shit, bit of an old rooster. But uh, let's jump on this track. Hopefully it's not too corrugated, and show you guys one of the most epic spots in Australia. <laughs> That's a racehorse goanna. Look how oh, quick he is. Him. Watch him. Watch how quick he goes, yeah? That is the biggest racehorse goanna I've ever seen in my life. These things can run at like 60 clicks, eh? Sticking his tongue out to threaten me. Oh, he pounced on that. Be cool, eh? Very. Now get in the car so we get bitten. <laughs> <laughs> bitten by a bung arrow on my birthday. He only gets freaking bitten by everything, and can you see why? <laughs> Do we need any milk? No, we've got plenty. You sure we got enough milk? <laughs> yeah. That could be a steer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get any milk. Had all that fella. I so, was just waiting for it to like leave one kill. <laughs> so when they stick their tongue out like that, it's like a snake, they're threatened. And then you see, I lobbed, its head as well. I lobbed a little rock near him just to see if we could get him to run off, just to show you how quick they are. And um, he like pounced on the rock. I don't even know if I got that on camera or not. That was sick. <laughs> he was like a pussy cat on a, a freaking yeah. mouse. Anyway, we're doing a giveaway this this week. We're giving away another set of tie deflators thanks to iCheck. So we're giving away another set of tie deflators, best in Australia. So all you have to do to win these is uh, comment your favourite part about the video, like the video, and also be subscribed to our YouTube channel. So this track you pretty much can drive from uh, Nalu and Red Bluff all the way to Exmouth. This is the access road that we're on now, and sometimes you can get a semi-off-road van down here, and then sometimes you need the most extremely off-road van to get down here like this. Yeah, it's real raw, rugged, and uh, yeah, that's why we love it as well. Sick does that look okay? I reckon it's about time I cut a fresh, fresher mullet into my head, but this is the parts of the track that can get gnarly. Like we've seen this like fully rutted, stepped out, and uh, doesn't look like much on the ca on the camera, but with the caravan on, she's uh, pretty steep and gnarly. Um, it's not too bad this year, I just had a quick look, but it definitely gets way worse than this. You just never know until you rock up, but far out, how sick does this campsite look? <laughs> this is this is wicked, eh? This is living Barry. Sweating like an absolute pig. It's 
like 40 degrees today. We've got two more sand hills to get up to get to camp and you should see this camp. I just ran up there quickly to have a little bit of a recce. The next two sand dunes are pretty hectic, especially for a big van to get up there. But once we're up there, it should be good. And we've got some real soft sand because it is the middle of summer. And uh, yeah, it's at its softest right now. So anyway, let's see how we go. I'm gonna lock everything, press every button and uh, I can go lower with my tires again but hopefully I don't have to. Sorry about the camera angle, it's not the best. We don't really have GoPro mounts and stuff. We just, <laughs> we got the worst equipment. But here we go, I got every button pushed. Let's see how we go. Hopefully the hands all good. Second gear. I don't want to hit it too hard, there's some big whoopies here. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fair sense, you done. <laughs> yeah. Now, the second sand dune, and then once we get up this one, then we've got to reverse the trailer through soft sand. So anyway, this is sick. It's my birthday, having a heap of fun. I love doing this shit, eh? It gets me going. Bit of a sand hill here. Well, it's a dune. I'd class it as a dune. Let's see how we go. Here we go. Go, Leroy. <laughs> oh, smells like diesel. I was feeding it then. How good's this? Look at this. Our campsite's just there. I've got to go down this little hill, reverse into the soft sand, and then we've got a sick view of that. I cannot wait to show you this. It's just so sick. Radio Cowboys. I'm about to hopefully not get bogged. <laughs> I'd watch out the oh where's the spot that I'm going into straight back into the left there straight back straight back here we go here goes nothing reversing in soft sand He goes round two. down but I'll drop them a little bit further. It's so close, look that's the site right there. Almost got over it. Once you get the trailer over the soft stuff, it's so hard to reverse trailers in soft sand. Anyone that's done it will know. But we're so close, we can't fall on the last hurdle. I'll drop these tyres. We're going down to sub 15, 10 maybe, 10 on the van. Because this is soft, look at this. It's just hot black sand.
Oh, it's so hot. It's so close. It's so hot. <laughs> That's rain. Radio. I was at a crossroads whether to go forward or back and I've uh, decided to go forward and have another crack now I've got real low tires like we're on about 10 or 12 on everything caravan included so I'm just gonna see if I can pop out here don't spin when you're on max tracks when you're getting on them but once you're on them you've got to go for it all right we're up right we're out here we go we're gonna go backwards now and uh, I've left the max tracks where they are, so hopefully we can get a little boost out of them. But uh, this is no easy, easy thing. This And uh, we're just at camp here, literally caravan set up right here and there's a pumping wave literally just there. So Sarah's gonna arm up with the lens from here. Look at that one. That was off its head, I gotta get out. Missing out, no one out, that's the thing. And there's a healthy shark population, so it's a bit sketch. Wouldn't recommend doing this um, to everyone, but I uh, acknowledge the risks and I accept them, so. I will be going out by myself, but Sarah's watching and uh, yeah, fingers crossed everything goes all right and I get a couple waves. Oh, I made it out the back, check it out. Turns out the back here. So cool to be out here by myself. A little bit offshore, but uh, the waves are just pumping out. Eh? Like the waves are next level. Hopefully, I can get a few clips here. Cause you're hot, isn't it? Turtle right there. This is like the best birthday present ever.
Nearly died. Oh, I got flogged. Them waves that got me were like twice as big as all the other ones I was seeing. It's I actually worried for a right. minute. I think even a turtle got caught inside with me. So I was scrambling around and I seen this big freaking floating thing. Remember, this is like a big lens, so you're all blurry now. It's too close. Oh. Oh, Actually, so much... that's the first time I've been worried since well, New got... Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I might be verging on heat stroke at the moment, but it's alright. So sick still. We're going for a oh, swim. <laughs> got our own private little walk track. Got a couple of towels on our head to keep the sun off, keep the flies off. And uh, we're walking down to paradise. Show us your best dive. in paradise. I don't know what is that. There's literally no one down here. And uh, it's like real glassy, no wind. And the water viz is just off its head. Menu. Bit of KFC. So we're going to make them into um, Turkish bread rolls, so that should be a little bit healthier. <laughs> that is just off its head. Anyway, I'm having a few bloody Sally Fitzgibbons and we're not putting socks on centipedes today. That's living better. The world's greatest shave is still up. Um, like the donations haven't been finished yet because obviously we're filming this behind time. But if it is the best birthday present you can give me, is donating to that charity um, and helping other people. That's the best thing that you could do for me um, and Sarah. And yeah, it's just amazing. So if you can, please go donate to the world's greatest shave. Every dollar counts, even if it's five buckaroonies. Means the world to us. If you do enjoy our videos, please hit the red button, subscribe. And uh, yeah, it keeps us going on the road and it supports us. It's free for you guys to do, but it supports us a lot. Someone say KFC. Holy shit, there's like thunderstorms coming in, but it's created like the sickest sunset. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that. That is off its head. So pretty, and there's all um, pink clouds behind us. <laughs> Look at this. It's turning on, eh? I reckon it's going to go soon. It's so sick. We love WA sunsets because it's obviously over the water and stuff. And uh, I'm going to bang the drone up, show you guys this joint on the sunset. I know we love doing that. I present ADHD Chats, presented by Dopamine and Caffeine. Look, with a view like that, it's hard not to have a few Pam Corkers, you know what I mean? Oh, she's a boy. <laughs> How good was today? Got bogged right there. And then uh, snagged this wicked campsite. I've seen that bung arrow, and now having a few Pam Corkers slide down the gullet. Bloody good, eh? And then this is your healthy reminder to uh, 
get out there and enjoy Australia. Get out on the road if you if you're on the uh, on the fence about leaving and uh, setting off on an Australia trip. Just do it, eh? You're uh, you're gonna get spots like this, and uh, this is your healthy reminder from me. 28, 28 year old Jesus. That sounds weird to say, but you reckon we should tell them about the cyclone. Yes, but it's very unpredictable at the moment. Even we don't know exactly what we're going to do. Originally, we were going to go down to Carnarvon and stay there out of the um, cyclone, but then we saw that it was going to hit Carnarvon. So then we changed our plans and we would say we'd go down to Jero and try and go inland um, and try and not get stuck in near a river or something in case it floods. But now it's looking like it's going to just stay up off Karatha and not even hit mainland. So. Well, like, do we stay here and risk it, or do we still go back to Carnarvon and then just know that we're safe down there? So, yeah. Crossroads. It's all up in the air, but um, we'll probably make up our minds at least tomorrow. Or the day. Radio, so we don't know about the cyclone. We'll put up on the screen where it's tracking, like, I'll, so you guys can make your mind up. Like, originally, what the it was actually going to be like 100, and, I think it was tracked at like 180k winds, so I think that's cap four. So that's big enough to really take it seriously and get the, get our shit out of here because that, that's enough to flip caravans and all sorts of stuff. So, But since then it's been downgraded a little bit so it looks like a cat 2 or 3 now. But also the trajectory's changed. Um, it went from coming all the way down the coast, hitting Karatha, whipping through Exmouth all the way down to Shark Bay and then dissipating. Now it's just going to sit off Karatha, sort of just twirl around like you'll see on the screen right now. Um, and then bugger off back out to sea, which is super unusual to do like a horseshoe. So we're not 100% trusting that forecast. We're checking it every couple of hours, um, seeing what's changed and assessing it. But essentially, if it does come all the way down the coast, we can't just go south. So, because it's gonna keep hitting down the coast. And as long as that cyclone's out at sea, it's not gonna dissipate because when they're out at sea, that's when they're like creating all this energy um, and yeah, when they're over land, that's when they normally dissipate. So anyway, um, it's actually a way better forecast now. It's been downgraded, but we're still not 100% trusting it. And we're gonna just see and wait how we, see how we go. Make the most of this monsoonal sort of weather, because it is sucking a lot of weather um, out to sea, um, sucking all this cloud system. And that's why we got a sick sunset tonight with this thunderstorm behind us. All this weather is getting sucked out to the cyclone as we speak, so. Yeah, it's a bit uh, monsoonal, like not much wind at all, which is unheard of. Bulk flies, because there's moisture, um, which I'm sure you picked up on, but how sick is this? I don't know if that's getting picked up on the camera, but it's beautiful pink pastel skies, like this is just epic, and it's pure luck that we've scored this. So anyway, cheers guys, and we'll keep you updated with the cyclone. Good morning, guys. We are heading out for a fish. We are going- <laughs> It's a bit of a swell pumping today. Have a look at this. Sorry about the bloody knickers. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna punch the boats down there. We've set it up. We're just gonna try to punch into the bay, but as you can see, there's a fair few waves. So I've got to navigate some of the waves to actually get it in the bay to get fishing. So that should be fun. Might be a bit risky, especially with me driving, but um, yeah, <laughs> it should be fun. But uh, we got the fishing rods. We're packing lighter than we did at Nalu, just trying to get more, a bit more space in the boat. If you miss that, we do it. We do have a 2.9 meter boat, and if you don't know about our boat, you wait until you see this thing. It's like a death trap. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's literally a death trap. The thing that's different about its other inflatables is I've seen other people with 2.9 meter boats, and they're like fitting their whole family in it. But yeah. ours has got this little thing that hangs off the back, like little rocket yeah. bits, it's and like, that takes up like half of the freaking yeah. 2.9 meter. It does make it more stable, but I think ours is also not full width too. So anyway, we'll go show you anyway. And
bit sketchy trying to get it out through these waves, eh? But I made it. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna circle around until Sarah's ready, but check this out. I was so sketchy, I forgot to even hit the record on the GoPro. But uh, hopefully Sarah got it. <laughs> what a weapon. <laughs> like full six footers breaking off the back of the reef here eh? and we're just in this 2.9 meter inflatable. <laughs> Not ideal rubber ducky conditions. Look at the reef. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a square. Well, obviously. Alright, what do I do when I bring it up? You just put it straight in the boat. Yeah. You're right. Oh, oh, you fell off. Oh. Fell off. Oh. <laughs> Drop it back down. Oh, that was a big squid. Damn it. That was a monster squid. Wave. Radio, drop Sarah off because it got a little bit hairy there with that wave coming over the bow. Oh, hey, that was pretty funny. Um, little cheeky wave broke on the inside of the reef here and yeah, almost got us. But we got a little bit of water in the back of the boat, not too bad. But I've um, stayed out just because it's, you know, such a beautiful day. And uh, it is going to get more and more wavy as the tide picks up. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can um, catch a squid here. Fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, it's a good day nonetheless. And uh, yeah, so sick that we got a boat and we can get out to these little spots now. So here's another wave breaking in the bay just there. Oh, no way. I just spotted the biggest dugong ever. Just scouting out the back there. There's a couple little, little lumps gonna come through in a second. But uh, hopefully I can get this squid on the boat. Fingers crossed. Oh no, it's a fish. It's a f fish. Oh my god. Oh, there's a wave. <laughs> Look at that. If you're wondering, the easiest way to support us is hitting that red subscribe button. It's free to do and it keeps us on the road making these videos. And if you did enjoy today's video, we guarantee you you're going to love this next video right here.